What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, as you can tell by the name tag underneath his name, is Mike. <laughs> yeah, they know us by now, right? They do, unless they're brand new to the channel. Hi, how are you? <laughs> that's Welcome. Chris, and I'm Mike. I'm Mike, and that's Chris. Welcome. Yeah, something like that. Uh, what's up, guys? Season 3, Episode 14, El Matadero. Uh, this is Fear yeah. the Stupid Walking Dead. This is Stupid Fear the Walking Stupid Fear Dead. The- stupid um all right look here's the thing we've given this show a lot of guff this second half of the season or rather the whole season the whole season the last probably two seasons um, i man i'm telling you these episodes for me is just like ah uh, there's some good stuff in it and then there's some dumb stuff in it mm-hmm. I'll, I'll be honest with you this episode i i really wasn't like grinding my teeth or, t- or rolling my eyes that much this one okay. this one this one to me was a little bit a little bit better um you know but but i i'm still i'm so burnt by it all yeah it's still kind of like eh, you know it's like, really yeah i think it's really hard for us after you know being so negative about it to i, I think it would it would have to be something real real incredible that they put out there that we'd actually give them like well wow, that was a good episode i mean look so there was some good stuff in here. Okay, so yeah, let's let's. Uh, Ophelia what's, what's was the bitten. Good things? <laughs> Ophelia was bitten, and yeah. you know that you know that tension that was some good tension. Here's the problem: there, it should be like really good tension, like oh my god, I can't. What the hell's Daniel gonna do, right? But again, I'm just my interest level in these these characters as people yeah. is so low. It's kind of like ah, it's interesting, but it's not as it's not like say Rick was gonna. You know, Carl died and Rick was coming to pick up Carl, but he thought he was alive. You know what I mean? Like, that would be, Mm -hmm. like, heart-wrenching. Having said that, you know, the fact that they, you know, they did it right up to the minute. They're pulling in Mm -hmm. and Ophelia dies. Like, that was crazy. I enjoyed. That kind of sucks. I enjoyed. (laughs) Yeah, dude. It was, I mean, but good, though. Like, that's drama. That's good stuff. I did enjoy how, how. She tells Madison, "Tell my dad I was getting, you know, I was looking forward to meet to, to getting to know him." And to know, she, yeah. And then she said this whole thing about how you know you you spend your life with your kids, and it's interesting for uh, for me as a dad. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like my kids are getting older, and you know we, we're starting to get into situations where it's like they're they, not only do they see who I am, you know, I try and be completely honest with them. You know, obviously I'm an adult and they can't know everything about being an adult, yeah. the adult things that we do as adults. But, you know, as far as who I am, like, I feel like my kids know me pretty damn well. Like they know my sayings. They know, mm-hmm. they know how I smell. They know how I, how I feel <laughs> when they cuddle me. They, they know my reactions to certain things. If we're driving, we're in a store. If I see something on TV, like they know all these things. And, yeah. and, and it's really fun. It's really interesting to have someone have this little person know you that well. It's really cool. I really enjoy it. It's one of the joys yeah. of being a parent for me anyway. Um, I could see how it could be annoying for other people. But so that particular moment was for me with Madison saying that was like, damn, yeah, I mean, that's, you know, you, you try to protect your kids, but there's only so much you could do things. It's they're, they're They are their own people and it's going to happen. Yeah. So when she passes and then Daniel comes and, you know, and she's like, just wait a minute. Just, just listen, just hold on, just hold on, just hold on. You know? And he's just like, he's like, is this a joke? You know, like he, oh, yeah. he's like, get out of my face before I kill you. You know, like I, I, I liked it. I thought that was a highlight of the episode. You know, what'd you think about that, man? No, I, th- I thought, you know, you know, I like, I like Salazar as a character and we really haven't gotten much from him. So it was cool to see him. And obviously now at the end of the episode, they travel back to the dam with him. So I'm sure we're going to get a lot more. Um, I think there's two episodes, right? Four, 15 and 16, I, I believe. 16, yeah. So uh, I'm assuming we get out a lot more of, of Salazar. But yeah, I mean, some of the dialogue was cool. Um, you know, the Nick thing. Before I get any, even into the Nick thing. <laughs> I want to talk about quick with Alicia. Okay, let's jump to Alicia real quick. Yeah. Obviously, in the beginning, we see Nick and Troy. They follow her, and they found you know they found her just to check it. You know, maybe convince her. Well, uh, well, his job was to convince her to come back, back. and he knew he knew she was. He just did it to get to say that he did it. Yeah, I guess he really. I mean, I think he tried a little bit to get her back. Like I I agree, though. I don't think he had um, any kind of thought that she was going to come along with them. But anyway, so we see Alicia um, going into like a, a burger place or something, which I thought was kind of interesting. And she sees, um, 
she sees the walkers and and she sees this this other female come in and, and handle them uh it was just funny how agile and how um how uh, mobile and how how this girl was able to swing this huge ass pickaxe well she's she's seasoned now she's trained herself to use i this guess thing. but that you know it's quite heavy i'm sure no, dude she's and, trained herself think about it. If, if if you've trained yourself to use a particular tool that I guess but you think about like to be, think, think about like holding a rifle or anyone like in the military not, like you just hey, to swing that that's not the best weapon to be so agile and to be able to hey, run she and out a group she of apparently them. can handle herself well anyway um the ball pit thing out of all the places to hide is the least, um, uh, you know, the last place you would want to jump is into a ball pit. Uh, I think because God forbid a Walker comes out like, like it, it did in the episode. Um, it's not the best place to have your footing and be able to escape or, or maneuver very well. So I just thought that was a little ridiculous that of course, well, I mean, she, she slides down into, I know um, I'll tell, let me give me my sense on that because, it. I, I I do agree. Like that wasn't the smartest thing, but yeah. Alicia is not the smartest, you know, cookie in the in the cupboard, right? Mm. But that was still all right, a couple things. One, they they really they're really going back to basics and doing a lot of cool Walker situations, and I'm very very happy for that because I'll tell you what, mm. if there weren't those things, I think we would have stopped watching. Like legit, would have been like there isn't even any zombie stuff in this. I can't deal with it. But they've been doing. They've 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 really put like last last week inside the bunker. That was a that was a harrowing situation. Like mm. imagine being locked inside of a bunker oh, with I all zombies. Shit. You know. So the and and you know then the the walker then the the attack on the the on the compound previous episode. So th they've done a lot of cool walker things, and I'm very glad for that. Mm -hmm. This was another one of those. I'm sitting there going, you know, there's gonna be a zombie in here. Not yeah. that, but you know what, Mike? It wasn't that. It wasn't that not smart because they couldn't see her in there yes it wasn't the best place to have a to have your back to the wall so to speak you know to to, to, to cover your all your bases and but she was pretty hidden if it wasn't for that zombie which by the no, way I mean, obviously she was hidden because the girl didn't even spot her but i just thought it was like they put her in 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 one of the most vulnerable spots by jumping into a ball pit well, you know what do you mean? think? Think about this. I just thought it was. I just thought it was. It was. It was. It was kind of kind of stupid. Here's but. a funny thing though, because I was like, "Oh my god, it's gonna be a kid," and then it was a kid. But then I looked yeah. and I was like, "That's not a kid. That was a like, grown ass woman in pigtails, dressed as a zombie." Oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, "Damn, it kind of ruined it for me because I was like, oh, they're doing a kid. Like they're yeah. they're showing a kid zombie. Like, what, yeah. did they ever do that on this show before? I, I don't think so." Um, you know? This one, uh, yeah, it's it's. Uh, they it's don't not they don't I normally do that. Seeing. In fact, even yeah. in The Walking Dead, I think it was just the girl in the first episode. Anyway, point is, whatever, love it, hate it, it happened. Yeah. Great, they got away, and yet, and and here's the thing about this other character that you're you're like, oh, it's so dumb that she can swing that. But you know what, dude? <laughs> it's a comic book character, and I enjoyed it. I'm going to tell you, I enjoyed her. I enjoyed her, uh, and for as long as she, we I mean, her, I thought she was okay. It's it's cool to have. Um, number one, like a, not a Michonne, because I'm not going to compare it to a Michonne, but just a woman on her own by herself. And now you have technically, you right, have a badass, you know, she's, you know, take, look, she's, she can she's, hand, I, it's just not, you know, listen, I understand. I thought it was cool. I thought her killing the walkers with the pickaxe, it, it was cool, but, but it's not the, it's not the optimal weapon to choose, especially to take well, out Well, not for you, at, but at you don't know. Time. She, she enjoyed it. Man. It doesn't matter. I don't care how <laughs> it's heavy as fuck. So you're not swinging that thing. <laughs> as as uh the way the way she was but oh, um so funny. listen uh, the that's another so funny. Uh, one cool thing though when she was clipping you know she was clipping the fingers off she's taking she nails the, she's the taking teeth not nails fingers and teeth fingers and teeth and she was making them into well she rings. sells them back to yeah. the people and they make that all that jewelry and stuff yeah. she sells them to the outpost i thought i thought at first i'm like oh i wonder you know because we didn't we haven't really seen people collecting the gold and stuff and before i got that answer that what she was doing and that she was to she was like gold, bartering yeah. or whatever she was doing yeah. i thought maybe she would maybe she was melting it down to make a weapon or you know i don't know a zombie I was like, tooth was, dagger it was not the tooth necessarily but just the gold Oh, the you know, gold that she was getting from that she was selling that from stuff. the rings or whatever that she was collecting them at first. But, but I, I mean, that would have been cool. Yeah. But because we haven't really, we haven't really seen that. And like I said, it is kind of cool that you see a lot more loners out there. Um, 
But uh, yeah, you know, the Alicia thing, I'm kind of, because you know, we got a couple of questions about her from the last video from mm-hmm. some, some of our, our fans. And, and they had said that, um, you know, some of them are now more interested in Alicia. So I'm kind of a little bit more interested in, in what she's going to do, too. I'm wondering um, if she will possibly stay with this girl. Um, I'm kind of assuming maybe they'll kind of tag team it, but who knows? So anyway, it just kind of gets me interested in Alicia a little bit more. Um, the Nick stuff in this episode really kind of bummed me out. Yep. And because he went on his bed, he went on a bender, right? Yeah, and man. It was because... like, really? Like he was so, he was so quick, good, you but, know? He was, but he was also so quick to get back to it. Like I thought it was going to be like, like, like a, heavy, like a heavy, heavy, heavy. He's yeah, taking the, the, what it, the hell was that stuff in the jar? I, I um, a gland. Or oh, something it was like a, that? there was a dream. It was the adrenal gland. Yeah, so of, you know, I mean, he's like, let's let's say it's a pig, but I don't think it was from a pig. Yeah, yeah. So I just I I didn't. But even with I, the pills, I, I dude, liked him. Yeah, but, I know. At first, I'm like shit because he sees them I sitting thought, there. I'm like, oh, he's gonna he's gonna like debate it and not do it. Yeah. But no, dude, he did it right away, and I was like, ah, shit. And then he's getting Troy. You almost felt bad for Troy. Yeah, wait, no, wait. Before you go any further, I want to. Yeah, let's comment about that because here's the funny thing, <laughs> Troy. This was fun for me. This that whole part was fun for me because Troy was out of his element and Troy's like Nick, Nick, no, what, 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 come we, on, let's yeah, we've this, seen you know? we've seen Troy as this maniac, this maniacal, mm-hmm. headstrong, like disenfranchised, like lunatic. Yeah, and then and you know He's right like right push. from the get go, right from the first time we met him in in that in that military base or whatever. <laughs> And that to go and then to go to be like, oh my god, this kid is crazy. Like, I really enjoyed that because it was like, Nick's crazier than you, motherfucker. Like, yeah. guess what? Like, you're not the only. You don't have you know the whole book on crazy, yeah. but you know, like Nick's his own brand of crazy. Like, so so he really saw, you know, and it's and so Nick's funny. Like his past. It's so funny because he's like, oh, what'd you do that was so bad? You know, yeah. he's like, oh, you know, he's and he was making fun of like the fact that oh, like he thinks Nick is nothing. He th- and then Nick goes ahead and he's like, dude, you have to, dude, that was great. That was great, I almost man. It, it was. It, it, I mean, I I necessarily I didn't like the I way yeah. Troy. Um, I, I thought he was too much of like like a little like a pussy. You know what I mean? Like, oh well, and you almost like, oh, should we really be doing this but, kind of but, thing? But I enjoyed Just, that though because it, it was a, it was like he would have acted like from what we got of Troy so far. Like, like well, right, yeah, right. I know. Just, I see what you're saying. You yeah, said yeah, to yeah. describe like, him, like he would have been uh, maybe he would have uh, maybe not so. Um, uh, what's what's the word? Like, just not so. Um, he would have had a, he would, skittish. Or he would have had more bravado or like a little more machismo as opposed yeah, maybe, to just maybe more. I don't drink. Not a push, not I don't push do over. this. Yeah, yeah. He was very, you know, he was, um, he he was just so easy. He to was say, completely, oh, right, you know, as if he was completely out of his element. Like yeah. he's never gone on a bender. Yeah. He's never. But you know, do you think? Do you think that the death of his brother had something to do with it? What that he decided, screw it, I'll take the drugs. Because don't forget. That. Because don't forget. In the previous episode, he was no, 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 no. I mean, I mean, for the fact that he was being a pussy. Because the, the, in the previous episode, remember oh. Nick? Nick had to yell at him like, "Stop! Sh- shut your face! We're not here to hear you cry." Because yeah. he was feeling all this like I felt like right the previous episode, he was feeling remorse yeah. and he's feeling like, "Oh, this is my fault," and this and they're not going to accept well, Nick, me yeah, and all Nick, this stuff. And he's like, "Shut the fuck up!" Mm-hmm. So I, I mean, think there was a turn. There was a slight turn in in Troy. Possibly, possibly. That, I mean, he it, broke. It could I think be he that. broke. I think he because he went out into the desert. He broke, dude. He led them I mean, back. He killed all those people. It was his fault, and I think it broke him. And I yeah. think he's he's not like he was. So I guess that's a good way of thinking about it. I mean, I I, I didn't necessarily think of it that way. That he was that you know that would be the reason uh, he's acting the way he is around Nick now. But he's like. I, I don't know. I just think it was too maybe too drastic of of the way switch, he, he right, yeah. did that. Yeah. Um, can we talk know. about real quick? Can we talk that about works. the the zombie brain tacos, real quick? The what? The zombie brain. Were the quesadillas? She fed him. Oh 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 oh, oh yeah. Whatever the heck. Were, that was. I think she said they were zombie brains, dude. I think those are zombie brains. No, they yeah. can't be eating zombie brains. I think that's what they said. I have to go back and look, but I'm pretty sure that's what they what she said. Yeah, maybe she, I think she was teasing him. Mm, it looked like zombie brains. Anyway, that was crazy. When you um, get sick, I I don't know. I don't know if I would believe that they would. Be you know what was unbe- you know what was unbelievable was okay. So they both get high, and you know 
they go so they go to which is the name of the episode right they yeah. go they go to the El Matadero and it and and like they just like the guy just gives it th- that shit to them like he just uh, walks. I guess he knew it would be let's see what these kids would do it's I like yeah it's like the underage kid at the party you know let's get him drunk and see how stupid he you know it's probably something something along those lines but like I not guess, for nothing but... what what are they paying with even if the guy was to charge them for the heroin for the coke for the pot or whatever what were they going to give them in exchange did anyway they, it's did not they like trade? did did madison give did madison give nick cuz you know they got some credits and she bought like the electrolytes and by the way like but did she i don't, I don't know it could be something like that i don't know, I don't know. again you're right it's like one of those things like well, okay let's just push the story along and yeah. and whatever yeah. but whatever man it, it is it, right. it, it was what it was um you know so then nick's back to up those old tricks so at the end you know madison you know for once madison is like a little cowed she's a little bit now 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 she's kind of like whatever happens after this i've kind of I've done, I did what I said I was going to do. Walker's like, you're going to keep your bargain. That You said it, you're going to do it. You're going to do mm-hmm. it. She did it. And now she was like leaving. She she left herself up to, you know, it, it left it up to her fate up to Salazar. And knowing that Alicia's out on her own now, she had to let her go. There's nothing else she could do. She doesn't yeah. blame Nick for it. And and she sees Nick and she she knows she f- she damn well knows when Nick's when Nick's been taking substances. That's what substances. I was going to ask you too. Do you think she that she absolutely knows? And then yeah. she sees the blood on his neck, meaning she knows exactly because that's what he used to do. Remember? Yeah. When they were together before they left, he used to go out, and she'd be like, "Why are you doing well, this?" Well, he and went out like, for the longest time. That's how they. That's how Madison eventually found him when she was. No, first. no, no. But before that, before before they split, he was going out. He was going out amongst the zombies with the blood on. He was doing that before they all left. Before they left the um, that little yeah, uh, he was sanctuary. going on his travels. Yeah, and then he'd come back, and she'd be like, "What are you doing?" Mm. And he's like, uh, "I feel as I feel normal out there, or alive, or whatever the hell he said back then. I forget. It was yeah. season two, but I mean, so she sees that, and now she sees. Well, he's he's fallen off the horse now, and he's back on this thing. And but she, you saw she was very disappointed, but she wasn't gonna say shit. Because she's defeated, I feel like. I feel like she's defeated. At the, she feels defeated and at the whim of other people right now. Now, I know you probably didn't watch the coming attraction for the next episode. Nah. Next episode. It, dude, I couldn't even tell you what's going on. It just looks like a, It just looks like it's all over the fucking place. There's people okay. attacking the dam. Nick's fighting. She's fighting. Salazar and um, uh, what's his name? Strand. Strand are fighting. Like, dude, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what the hell's going on. I don't yeah. really know. I I don't know, but it looks like things are heating up, and it's well, like I said, we got two gone, episodes left. It's gone in this weird, like I don't know. It hasn't for me. It's kind of just been like gone in this weird direction. I I, I don't know. I mean, we'll give them this though. At least they did this whole compound, you know, the ranch, all in one season. Like they they did it in like it was kind of like the farm in season two, you know. I just feel like it's just going to be the same drama and the same kind of um, arguments between maybe a, a two different people, a few different people, or, or a large group against another group. It it just the, just the place is different, you know. So you go to the farm. Madison kind of comes in there. She's disagreeing with uh, Otto and yeah. and all this kind of stuff. And now it's all right. Now we're at a different place. But now what are you going to have? You're going to have Strand fighting with with. With Salazar, you're gonna have people attacking. I think there's a new guy yeah. coming in. I think there's I a new. Uh... It's, just, it's just the same kind of topics, the, the same kind of plots, episodes, just in different places. You had the people that wanted to get into the hotel in, in the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? Now you have people that are trying to get into the dam. And don't forget, then you um, have then you have characters like Strand. Strand's always wandering off, getting in trouble with a with a guy, and now there's another yeah. a guy. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna yeah. want to know. Who the hell is this? It's not. It's Who's not, this guy now? Now yeah, there's another guy that he owes things know. to. Like what? Strand the is, hell? That's that's we know. Strand is like this suave kind of sneaky. Or kinda. is it? The, or is it the guy we've seen already? Is it the guy that runs a bazaar? Oh, it might be the guy that runs a bazaar. I might be mistaken, but maybe I was just like, damn it, Strand, stop. Well, it just it's just always something. something. It's always something. Yeah, exactly. I know. It's, it's just, the same. It's, a, kind it's annoying. Of I know. Idea. One cool thing before we kind of wrap it up. Um, 
I wanted to. I don't know if you saw um, number no. one the the video, the clip that I that I sent through our messenger on Facebook with The Walking Dead. I thought that was cool information. If you didn't see, you may not have looked at it. Um, but before I get into that, would you send me? Yeah, uh, check, keep keep keep, on, keep talking, keep talking. Yeah, check check on check on the Facebook. But anyway, uh, Kirkman obviously we had uh, you know Chris obviously went to the, the New York Comic Con, um, and Kirkman and the Walking Dead panel while they were up there, Kirkman had said that there's going to be an intertwine of a character going from one show. We're going to see him pop up in another show. They didn't necessarily say um, which uh, you know which character. Obviously, they wouldn't tell us who it was, but. They didn't tell us where the character was from, where they originated from, if they were a fear character or a Walking Dead character. But we're going to have one character. It's going to um, cross over it's gonna into, cross into over. season eight, we're saying, right? Yeah, uh, I believe so. Sometime in season eight. But we don't know which series it's going to be on. So it doesn't necessarily mean we're going to see it this year in Walking Dead. Well, I, 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 would... I thought I thought it said it was going to be in season eight. Uh, but that would kind of just give you automatic that someone from Fear is going to have to be on The Walking Dead. Right. I don't, I don't unless, think they would do that. Unless it's going to be someone you're from... Gonna have, you're not going to have Nick or Madison or any of these characters, Salazar, end up on The Walking on the Walking Dead because they're ahead. So that that, that means that... And then who the hell... Fear... But then who's going to... Yeah, who's going to come gonna know from... You're going to they're not going to die. So I'm assuming it's probably somebody from The Walking Dead, um, maybe the past... Um, there's some rumblings. It could be Abraham. Maybe they bump into Abraham somehow before everything, or maybe uh, as he's on his way to find, you know, before he finds Eugene or something like that. Like, what if it's Negan? It'll be, uh, that would be cool. That, that, that might be cool. Because we know um, what happens in Negan in the comic. He was on his yeah. own for a very long time. And it, then... It, it, yeah, that's cool. We can maybe even maybe do a thing about that. Who we think that it might be from yeah. which series, or something. But yeah, and the other cool, the other cool little little nugget was um, the the beginning of um, episode one hundred, where um, yeah, okay, yeah. If I saw you that haven't seen the, the shot on, spoiler, the shot by shot remake. Yeah. yeah, it's a shot by shot remake of the original uh, of episode one, where with Rick and and when he first gets out of the hospital and stuff like that, and he's searching for gas. So I thought that was cool, and they did that with Carl, obviously. I'll link it. So, I'll, 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 uh, I'll link yeah, we can link it down down below uh, in the video uh, in the video's credits. But yeah, a couple little cool things uh, um, from from uh, from the Walking Dead uh, panel. Uh, at the Comic Con, I thought it was kind of kind of interesting. So maybe you guys can put your theories down below in the comments. Um, who you think may cross over, um, which character, and why? That would be kind of interesting to read uh, what you guys have to say about that. Uh, maybe we can even put somewhere, uh, or like I said, Chris, maybe we can even maybe do make a, video a, maybe a little video on it, do a little theory um, video. Also, uh, yeah. you know, so like Mike said, I was at Comic Con last weekend and. Um, it was fucking awesome. It was it was great. Go check out our our Instagram. Um, I think they're also on our Twitter. But if you check out the Instagram at Third Person Pod, uh, we posted. I posted a lot of images. I, I got a I got yeah. a good Negan. There's a good Negan cosplay. There was a great Carl cosplay. Funny story about the the Carl cosplay. Uh, so the girl, uh, it was a woman, and uh, we were actually me and my wife. We uh, so my wife and I went. You could also see my wife and I on there. We dressed up as Jesse Custer and. Uh, uh, Tulip O'Hare from Preacher, the TV show. Uh, we dressed up like that, and so we're at the, we're, we're in the like the concourse getting some some lunch, and we passed this Carl, and I was like, I gotta get a Carl. So I went over there, and she's getting chicken. She's like getting chicken fingers, and she's waiting for her food. And I was like, Carl, I'm like let me get a picture. And she's like, and she's like, oh Jesse Custer, nice. And I'm like, cool, cool. So I got a picture. Go check that out. Like I said, um, we, we and then we were walking through, and Negan stopped us. He was like, I gotta get a picture of Jesse and Tulip. And I was like, yeah, man. I'm like, let me get a picture of you too. And he, it's a really cool shot. I got a couple yeah, of shots cool. and one with the, he's got Lucille pointed right at me and I made it, you know, I blurred out the background and the, in the image, it was, you know, as I took it, it was pretty cool. He took a picture of us. Um, I got a really cool, uh, and then we're walking and I saw, I saw the hound and this guy, this guy's awesome. All right. Um, you could check him out on, on Instagram. He's linked on our Instagram page too. So he's a guy six, eight. And he does he does cosplay. He does a lot of like Game of Thrones cosplays and stuff. He's a he was really cool. And he's and he has that. Remember that meme of um, when it was uh, the hound fried chicken or whatever it was, yeah. right? So he's carrying around that bucket. Well, you've seen the picture, Mike. Yeah. But if you guys haven't seen it, go check out our Instagram page and it's on there. Yeah, it looks really cool. And uh, so I stopped him and I'm like, oh, I'm like, I'm like, and I'm like, um, 
Clegane. I'm like, Sandor Clegane, I gotta, I gotta get a shot of you. And he turns around and he goes, go fuck. He goes, go fuck yourself. And I was like, <laughs> and I, as I'm taking the picture, I'm like, yep, click, click. <laughs> so that was really cool. But then what's, what else is really cool is that um, this website, uh, it, it's the, it, it's um, Best of New York Comic Con uh, from like GoGo Cosplay is the website. They were like, oh, hey, can we use your, can we use your image on you know, on our website. And I was like, uh, yeah, sure. Just make sure you, uh, you know, tag the guy who was in it too. Uh, he's LTL cosplay is his, uh, handle, um, larger than life cosplay. So it was pretty cool. So anyway, um, yeah, you know, maybe, uh, uh is it closed? I'm going to see if it's, uh, because you could vote for the, uh, you could vote for them. Oh, okay. And, um, yeah, ours had a couple of votes. Um, I'll link that down below too if you want to find our image. It's been changing. We were at fifty four, and then we were up in like the forties. So, uh, I mean, if you want, you can go check that out. Maybe you can upvote the, the our image and see. Um, but anyway, pretty cool. Again, not not all Walking Dead stuff, but um, yeah. Seeing as how this is the only thing we're we're filming right now, uh, why don't you go ahead and check out that? That's on our Instagram. It's also on our Twitter, but check out the Instagram. Yeah. It's better on there. Anyway, yes, that that is gonna do it for us. Um, yes. Yeah, so I mean, I'll just say it right. Any since we're talking about it, Mike, go ahead, go to all those things. Check yes, third person pod, of course. Yeah, check out all our stuff. Uh, thank you to everybody who's been uh, commenting. And Fear the Walking Dead's are kind of slow, but we really do appreciate all you guys that are sticking around with us as we're sticking around with it and leaving the comments and talking about it. I know we all hate it, but you know what? A couple more weeks. We got <laughs> not the, all of us. We got to walk. Not all of us, but well, a couple more weeks. We got there the Walking are some Dead loyal coming back. Fans in there. Um, there was some sad news about Game of Thrones not coming back to 2019. I heard that. Yes, that sucks. I, I don't want. That. I don't. I don't want to talk about it right now because it'll upset me. Uh, <laughs> but you know, but we got The Walking Dead, and then we're gonna have Badlands, and yeah, we'll keep moving on, guys. We'll keep moving forward. Yep. So um, I think that's gonna do it. Uh, that's it, right, Mikey? That's all we got. Yeah, I believe so. Uh, oh, guys, uh, you know, tell someone about our channel. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, share the videos. Share sh if you listen to us on on you know iTunes or anything like that or SoundCloud or whatever the hell we're on. Absolutely. Uh, you know, share it. And uh, if you wouldn't mind, go check out Retro Squat uh, also on all those things. RetroSquat.com or just Retro Squat. I've uh, been really trying to push that um, that podcast as well. It's a really cool podcast where we mash up 80s and 90s classic 80s and 90s things, and we try and make new properties out of them and they're yeah. really cool in fact mike's gonna be on um an upcoming em episode yes, yes so um you know it should be pretty cool and if you guys want to get on our sh on that show just go to at retro squad on any of the socials or uh at gmail.com retro squad at gmail and tell us you want to be on that show and you can get on with us and you can take a section and you can get yourself a randomly chosen say if you wanted to do movies we randomly pick a movie for you from that time period, and then you got, and then you get to help us create a new property from another one. So that's it. That's the spiel. That's, Breathe. That's the whole block <laughs> spiel. Yeah. Uh, that's it, guys. Thank you so much. We will see you um, on the next episode of Fear the Walking Dead for Third Person Podcast. Yes. Have a good one. Peace out. Peace.